Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cal here, bringing you another video today. This video is going to be about early, sp early spring bass fishing tips. Alright, I already got my crankbaits out, and this is pretty much what I stick with in early spring. Um, in the m months of March, April, early May, for the most part, well maybe, it's mostly March and April, bass are feeding on crawfish, or crayfish. Depending on where you're from, it's depending on where you call it, what do you call them. And my personal favorite lure to go with in the early spring, my personal favorite lure of all time, is the Rapala DT10 in a crawfish color. You can go this thing low. Uh, you can make this. Uh, you can get this thing low and with a slow retrieve. It's absolutely perfect for those early spring bass. The earliest I seem to catch bass when they come up with it is right when the ice comes off. I always like to throw a crawfish lure, and they always hit on them. That's pretty much the only thing I've been able to get them with is crawfish. Uh, also, another strategy I can go with is I can take this sort of lipless crankbait. This is a KVD Shad. It's a, I would say it's a red eye shad, but it's just not, it's not the red eyes. So it's got trocar hooks on it. So it's a little bit better than the other hooks. And uh, I actually prefer to yo yo this lipless crankbait, which means essentially what yo yoing -yo is is you take the bait, well, you know, take it with your hands, take it with a lot, you let it drop all the way to the bottom, and then you pull it all the way back to the top of the water and you let it fall down. And then you pull it all the way back down. Pretty much you yo yo it. What the name says, you yo yo the, the, that. And uh, that tends to work all right. But I'd much rather throw the or the DT10, or uh, even if I'm throwing really deep water, I'll throw DT16. Oops, I put this in here by accident. Another strategy I like to go with is when the ice comes right off, is I like to throw a jerk bait. This is a Rick Klon classic jerk bait. Uh, I changed the hooks. These are, uh, I believe, eight uh, eight size eight Gamagatsu hooks on here. I definitely have to change off the hook on this one for sure. But this has got a pretty unique uh, design to it. It's a really good jerk bait. I'm excited to get it out in the water again. But when the ice really first comes off, ow! See, those are really sticky, sharp hooks. Uh, when the ice first comes off the water, this is probably the first thing everybody throws is jerk bait and it's right the first thing people throw when um the ice is about to go over the water so jerk baits and crawfish color deep diving crate baits are a good way for me to go um that's essentially really all i go with but go with some jigs you always can go with jigs i mean I'll show you. This is football jig. Green pumpkin colored. I don't know what the hell. Oh, I had it upside down. It's like, what the hell is wrong with this? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you can throw a jig if you like. But really, early spring, I say, go with this. Go with the Rapala DT10 in a crawfish collar. Or yo yo lipless crankbait. Let's stick to crawfish colored because that's what they're feeding on. You always gotta match the hatch. So, crawfish in early spring, particularly in March, I'd say go with the crawfish. But guys, just remember to keep tight lines and keep fishing. 